Hello everybody, Evan Lazar reporting from Gillette Stadium for CLNS Media. And just like the 2022 Patriots, Gillette Stadium currently under construction in this video, we're gonna continue our series breaking down the top 50 fits in the NFL draft for your New England Patriots. My big board is up on clnsmedia.com. You can go ahead and check out the written version. This video, we're gonna go position by position here, talking linebackers, certainly a big area of need for the Patriots in terms of impact players at the second level of their defense. Gerard Mayo, during Super Bowl week, talking about how the Patriots need to get faster at the linebacker level, more athletic, more new age at that position, and certainly a lot of options for the Pats in a very deep and very talented linebacker class. Let's start in the first round, however. Let's go at the very top of the draft. It's a linebacker from Utah, Devin Lloyd. And the one thing I like so much about Lloyd for the Patriots, although he doesn't navigate the box exactly like an old school thumping Patriots linebacker, he's not gonna take on blockers with a head of steam. He's not gonna press and get into gaps quite like a Dante Hightower or somebody of that vein. But on top of his sideline to sideline range and speed, and ability to drop into coverage is his pass rush ability. And as we've seen over the years with the Patriots, they love linebackers that can play on and off the line of scrimmage. They don't want guys that are just going to play inside linebacker on first and second down and come off the field if they're going to draft them at the top of the draft in the first round. You look at Hightower in the past, Gerard Mayo. These are guys that could blitz the quarterback, rush off the edge, and really get after it. And I look at a player like Devin Lloyd, and I see that kind of versatility, that on and off the line ability. Honestly, his tape at edge rusher or as an interior blitzer is just as good, if not better, as his inside linebacker tape. And all it takes is one rep against Stanford for Patriots fans to fall in love with Devin Lloyd, going all the way across the field, sideline to sideline, to make a tackle on a receiver in the flat. That type of play speed and range is exactly what Patriots fans would love to see Bill Belichick target in the first round of the draft. Now let's go to the second round of the draft here for linebackers and talk about another player that I think can make an impact on and off the line as an interior blitzer and pure inside linebacker and that is Leo Chanel from the University of Wisconsin. Chanel checks a little bit more of that traditional Patriots boxes at the linebacker position. Weighing in at 250 pounds, he was still one of the best athletic testers at the combine in Indiana Indianapolis this offseason, you see a really physical downhill forceful player against the run. Somebody that can take on blocks, that can fill gaps, that can take on ball carriers in the hole all by himself and come down with a vengeance against quarterbacks. He can really get after QBs, blitzing a lot from Wisconsin's mug looks in the A-gaps over the center and guards, but also can blitz from the outside or loop around on a stunt or a pressure that can really get after the QB. Maybe not as rangy, or instinctive in coverage as a guy like Devin Lloyd, but certainly brings that on-off hybrid flexibility and can really get after the line of scrimmage against quarterbacks, blitzing QBs, and against the run. Chanel is a nice compromise for Bill Belichick. You don't want to go full new age and draft somebody like N'Kobe Dean from Georgia, who's 226 pounds. You want to find somebody in the middle. I think Chanel is the best bet for the Patriots in this draft at 250, can go downhill, can thump in the box, but can also have some really good athleticism and really good range and chase quarterbacks around. That new age compromise for Bill Belichick, Leo Chanel from Wisconsin certainly checks that box. So now let's go to day two, late day two, third round pick, somewhere in that range at this linebacker spot. The Patriots are not one that really goes to the Penn State well very often. And Bill Belichick has only drafted one Penn State prospect in his 22 years as the Patriots head coach, which is hard to believe given the amount of talent that comes out of Penn State that they don't have more guys that are Nittany Lions in the building. But one player that just 
happens to check all the boxes that went to Penn State, which has a history of really producing great linebackers into the NFL, is Brandon Smith, another six foot three, 250 pound uber athlete. He's more raw and less instinctive than somebody like Leo Chanel, but has a similar athletic profile and similar traits that you would like for the Patriots. Can certainly go sideline to sideline with his speed that was really shown at the combine with his time 40 yard dash, but also can come downhill, has a size and the girth to hold up in the box and take on blockers and eat up space in that vein as well. And although, like I said, the Patriots don't typically go Penn State, it's hard not to see Brandon Smith's fit in this defense and the way that he checks all of those boxes for the Patriots. Lastly, I do want to mention some of the Georgia linebackers. You can't talk about the linebacker position without talking about the Bulldogs. They have three guys in the top 100. Nicobe Dean, who is that more new age guy, like I mentioned earlier, 226 pounds, but easily one of the best instinctive and block recognizers in this entire draft on defense. Somebody that goes through the box at his size exceptionally well, almost like he's in the matrix, bobbing and weaving and slipping through blocks and getting around people that he has no business getting around. He's a very good coverage player as well. Sideline to sideline mover. If the Patriots want to go full new age and they want to completely reinvent this thing. The Kobe Dean definitely checks a lot of boxes for them at the top of the draft. Quay Walker, my comp, uh, player comp, NFL comp for Quay Walker would be somebody like Jamie Collins. Although he's not quite as big as Collins was coming out of college, six foot three, 241 pounds and an 80 inch wingspan. This is a guy that has a ton of length. And if you watch his tape at Georgia, he has the ability to play both inside linebacker and over the slot detached from the formation outside the box. It can really go anywhere you want from both a depth coverage perspective or a sideline to sideline coverage perspective. Quay Walker, another one of those compromise type picks. Has some size to him, has some length to him, but has plenty of raw athleticism. Lastly, Channing Tindall, kind of the forgotten guy in that Georgia defense, probably around three grade for most teams. Those are your three Bulldogs. You can check out the rest of my list on clnsmedia.com. The top 50 fits in the NFL draft for the New England Patriots. Plenty of linebackers there. I'm Evan Lazar for CLNS Media. Thanks for watching, everybody.